Welcome, people. This is Spiritual Warrior Magistry, Royalty, Power, and Success in Christ Jesus. Our last message for today is comfort. God is your comfort in every situation. You know, how many of us, you know, are faced with difficult situations in life? How many tribulations are we currently facing now? You know, God knows. God knows your troubles. He knows your tribulations. He knows your pains, your agony, your hurt, your depression. He knows your pain. You know, he knows your abandonment. He knows your health issues. He knows exactly what you're facing. But what did God say? What does God say in scripture? What is God telling you in your heart? That he is your comfort in every situation. Jesus Christ is your comfort. Jehovah is your comfort. The Holy Spirit is your comfort. He is your helper too. He is called the comforter. The Holy Spirit is your comforter. You know, no matter the difficult situation that you're in, you know, um, also you're facing, um, you know, mood issues, health issues, financial issues, mental issues, spiritual issues. The Holy Spirit will always be there to help, to comfort in all your sufferings. He is the only one. You know, how many of us feel like the world has cru like crushed down on us how much of us feel defeated in our lives how much spiritual warfare do we have to endure or have we endured but god is our comfort god is always there no matter in what situation you're in god is your comfort how easy for other things to just not govern your mind not to pollute your mind when god is your comfort when you decide to put worship worship to the king of kings when you decide you know to focus on the true and living god to focus on his presence instead of your problems how much comfort you're gonna be in You know, I don't know your situation. I've been there, though. I have. I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be defeated in life. I know how it feels to hit rock bottom. And many of us have been in that state or are in that state currently. But put God right now as your comfort. He could be testing us. Who knows? It could be the devil attacking us. Who knows? Only he knows. It could be bad luck. Who knows? But God is our comfort. And he takes care of his children. He will never abandon his children ever. And he will never abandon anybody. He is faithful. He is the good shepherd. He sees everything. You know, never give up, no matter in what situation you're in right now, because the devil is coming to kill, steal, and destroy, and to destroy your faith. You know, when I've hit rock bottom, my faith, you know, it seemed destroyed for a moment. I'm going to be honest, 
we all feel like that. We all feel like, where's God? Or where is he? Or because he doesn't solve our problem right away. It could be a test of our faith. It could be for God's glory. You know, who knows? But God has not abandoned us. It may feel like God is not here. I felt that. I felt that. It's like in the book of Job where he felt like he's done something wrong or he felt even an abandonment of, of God, of Jehovah. But his situation was for God's glory. All the stuff that has happened to him. But everything was returned to him tenfold and twice twice as much or 10 times as much how many of us are facing through trials and tribulations and we feel as though God isn't there I felt it how many of us have felt anger towards the Lord because of our situations of what we face. It could be any difficult situation in life that has tormented us, that has destroyed us, that has impacted our lives in any way. But people do not give up hope, do not give up faith because God is always there. Whether you believe it or not, God is your comfort. So let me share a couple verses with you from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Pay attention to the last words, the God of all comfort. Meaning no matter what we face in this life, no matter the storms, the tribulations, the sufferings, God is the God of all comfort. All, not little, not a little bit of this, not a little bit of that, not a temporary comfort, of all comfort. He is the source, the source of our comfort. You know, I get it. Sometimes it's very difficult you know, to have faith in, this, in those situations, to have a strong faith in those situations. You feel discouraged because of what you're facing. But God is the God of all comforts. He will comfort you. Get into the Word in those moments. You know, get into fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Get into His presence. Start worshiping him it could be music it could be anything it could be just you name it the whole atmosphere is going to change for you your situations they're going to be thrown out the out at the door and just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and god will comfort you now let me share in verses four through seven from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Who comforted us in all our tribulation. You see? In all our tribulation, he will comfort us. You know, he never fails. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Father Jehovah, the Holy Spirit, they never fail. They never fail us in the most difficult situations that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. You know, you know, just sharing, you know, you know, some of the trials and, and tribulations that we face within the body of Christ. You know, everybody has their own situation that they that they face or that they're facing or that they have faced in life but these verses are key they help 
strengthen the brethren in Christ. I don't know if you guys caught this. That we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So when we are comforted of God, you know, the people facing the trials, the tribulations, the sufferings, we are able to give testimonies to the brethren, to the body of Christ, so we can strengthen each other, so we can comfort each other more, so we could provide that same healing, you know. How powerful is this? Because... The devil knows that, you know, people in Christ suffer. He knows that. But if he can get the body of Christ, you know, to not, to not like help one another in comfort, you know, when we receive this comfort of God, then he is winning because he's destroying the church. He's not, he, he's breaking the church apart. You know, he's getting people to think like, oh, like these people don't understand me. Like, um, you know, I'm not going to tell them anything. Um, you know, I'm not going to give them, you know, no, no healing advice, no nothing. I'm just let them, you know, come on. There's no, there's no love there. There's no comfort there. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation which is affected in the enduring of the same sufferings which also we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. You know... I mean, who knows? Sometimes we face difficult situations. You know, in order to really get into the presence of the Almighty Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes God wants to see how strong our relationship is towards Him. Are we still going to love Him? during our sufferings and tribulations? Are we still going to look towards God when there's very little hope that we see with our carnal eyes? Now what God sees, He knows the future. He knows that He will get us out of the situation. But our carnal mind, our carnal eyes, they don't see that. They only see the negative. That's very important right there. You know, are we still going to seek Him when all these things come crashing down? And this is important too because the tribulations, more of the tribulations and sufferings that are going to come within the body of Christ, you know, more and more and more rights are being taken away by Christians. You see, here in America, paganism is being normalized. Witchcraft is being normalized. What happens then when people are going to start persecuting Christians, literally? Are we still going to remain in His comfort, in His presence, when everybody is crashing down upon us, when... Every difficulty is there. When you don't see with your carnal eyes and carnal mind the light at the end of the tunnel. But this is very key because it says it is for your consolation and salvation. The presence, are we still in the presence of his salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, being in these situations can get us closer to God. 
but is it only going to take you know these situations it could be it could also be a test too whether we're in his presence or not but he is still the god of our comfort and salvation let me continue on. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolations. So it's necessary, you know, people, you know, the difficulties I've had in my life, you know, and the difficulties that you guys have had in your lives it's necessary like I said everybody's facing difficulties but it is for your consolation it is for you to get into the presence of the Lord and for you to know that God is all your comfort I don't know if you guys are hearing with your spiritual ears right now. You know, if the devil can steal your faith, your hope, then he will steal the presence of the Lord. He will keep you away from his presence. He will keep you away from God's comfort. He will keep you in a negative state in which all you think about is your situation and not God and not what he can do. I'm telling you, spiritual warfare of the devil that is attacking the church as we speak. Just like in the book of Job. Come on, people. So this message is to really, really tell you that no matter what situation you're in, doesn't matter what, whether you have little faith left or lack of hope or you know, just ready to give up, don't, do not give up. This is what the devil wants. He wants you to give up on God. He wants you to not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants you not to be in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ because he is trying to steal you for the kingdom of darkness and for He's trying to steal you guys so we can join him and to burn with him in the lake of fire. And that's not our fate and that's not our faith as well. Our faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ, is in Jehovah, the Holy Spirit, and he is our comfort. So people, please like, share, comment, subscribe share this message. This is a very serious, serious topic. I hope you guys get blessed by this video, get blessed by these words, by the wisdom. This wisdom doesn't come from me. It comes from the Holy Spirit. So people spread this message as much as you can. I hope you guys get edified, you know, I hope you guys come together to strengthen the brethren in Christ and everything. Believers, non-believers, come on, people. The devil is out here to destroy us, you know. He is out here to kill, steal, and destroy. We must not let him win at any cost at all. You know, we're going to keep destroying the devil day by day hour by hour, night by night, day by day. Like he has never seen before until the Lord Jesus Christ 
puts them in the lake of fire. I hope you guys have a very, very blessed day.